This afternoon about these accusations. I really thought that I had heard it all. I didn't believe it till I was in court watching and listening to the accusations leveled against this Taylor woman. You guys said it. She's accused of having sexual relations with the family dog named Max. It's apparently all on camera. Now she's charged with sodomy and animal abuse. Ever seen anything like this? I have not. You probably have not either. It all started like this. A gentleman comes in the front desk like uh, they do all day, every day. Like the beginning of a bad joke that turned terrible. She did own up to performing these acts on, on Max. The Taylor man says this week he caught his ex-girlfriend Brittany McClure on home surveillance cameras at their Taylor home they still share. In that video, it shows defendant Brittany McClure lying on the living room floor on a, what appears to be a mattress covered with a blanket. She then removes the blanket and calls the dog over to her. That's Taylor PD's detective Philip Collop, who had to analyze the six minute video. She is heard saying good boy. He secured charges against McClure for sodomy and animal abuse. Max is even named as the victim in his report. Plain as day, it's his ex-girlfriend performing uh, fellatio on the dog named Max and um, her attempts to, to get Max to reciprocate. Lieutenant Frank Canning at this job 24 years, he's dumbfounded, says McClure confessed and even told investigators why. Kind of a uh, interest in a fetish, uh, stuff that was seen on the internet. Good news, Max was not hurt. Yes, Max is fine. He uh, is in the custody of his uh, dad, uh, Brittany's ex-boyfriend. No contact with any animals. The judge setting a $100,000 personal bond. McClure apparently says this is the first time she's ever done this. I would like to think that Max is going to be uh, in good hands and there's no threat to this happening again. We realize that is a lot to digest there. Now, McClure has no criminal record whatsoever. That's part of the reason the judge issued that personal bond, which means she will be out of custody. Now, uh, side note on those cameras, they were installed uh, not because there was any kind of suspicion that something was going on. They were kind of everyday home surveillance cameras. Reporting live, Jessica Dupnack, Fox 2 News. I was just going to ask that, Jessica. I mean, you have to wonder what made the ex-boyfriend actually go look at this video. What did he suspect and what did he know at that point? Because, like you said, this is all very disturbing. Yeah, I'm curious to know if that will maybe come up in her defense. Did he have a right to have those security cameras there? Uh, they do share the home together, but they are going through a breakup. So possible defense there. Mm, very interesting. All right. Well, I guess we'll see how this one turns out. Jessica, thanks for that.